So I just wanted to do a quick update on my quail, hutch, and aviary here. Uh, under it, I have done chicken wire under all the sod and stuff and hardware cloth. Uh, the walls are made of gilded wire, fencing, poultry, netting, and hardware cloth. There's, we'll go in there in a minute. There are six of them, jumbo photonics quails. This is their uh, covered hutch area. It's made of an old interior door, two old interior doors. I got from the restore for about $15 a piece. Oh, they're great because they let in a lot of sunlight. I can see in there, see if they need more water or anything like that. This is their feeder. It's an old bird feeder. It holds about five pounds of food, which is great. Uh, they got one water in there. They got their main waterer out here, but I have had mixed, uh, mixed feelings about it. Uh, that's where I sit and have my morning coffee in there. I got strawberries and blueberries growing. All right, let's see over here. So this is made of those doors that I mentioned and fence posts, which are about $1.50 a piece. Which worked pretty well. I got a door here into the hutch and some polycarbonate roof panels. Spring loaded. And here's the main door again, two locks. And in here I have built a hill for them. And in it, gallon bucket that they all like to hug. Well, this is Fernando, my one male, or two males. This is Fernando. Uh, and that's my other male over there, thinking Casanova. So that one, He's trying to mate with everyone. And here are these guys. That's Peregrine there, because I feel like she looks like bucket with the poultry in it. I really have mixed feelings about it. But I feel like they just don't have enough pressure in the water. And I feel like I always gotta press on it to make sure that they have enough. Like I don't they're not all that self sufficient about it. They do use it, they do try. But yeah, there's your update. What we did first was prepare the ground. So we dug out, uh, hoed out all of the grass and all of the uh, cover crop by hand uh, to create a space to lay the chicken wire uh, and then build on top of it. Uh, because this is a semi-temporary aviary, I use chicken wire. Uh, when I do it again, I'll definitely be using hardware cloth or welded wire, though I've had no problem with the chicken wire. I just know it can be corrosive. We laid treated 4x4x8 four by four by foot boards down on all the sides uh, to support the walls. If I were to do it again, I would have simply post hole dug treated 4x4x8s four by four by uh, into the ground and used 2x4s to support the walls. Uh, not only would it have been less expensive, but I believe it would have been more structurally sound. I haven't had any problems with mine, but I like the idea of post holding them into the ground more than what I did. Again, if I had post hole dug these into the ground, it would have eliminated the need for any sort of corner brace or outside support, and I just feel like it would have been more sustainable overall. Around the outside edges and inside edges of the 4x4s on the ground, I put a lot of landscaping rocks on top of the chicken wire uh, in order to keep the chicken wire down, discourage any digging, uh, and just overall protect the quail. And then I started to build their inside hill and environment in there. 
And then when I built their indoor hutch area with the restore doors, I simply framed in the doors with treated 2x4s so that they would stand and then drilled them into the 4x4 structure, uh, the aviary. And then I simply framed in all of the fence pickets. I know I called them posts earlier. They're fence pickets for $1.50 a piece. And then just drilled them top and bottom. So our hutch is pretty much the same today, except it has a full polycarbonate roof to keep out the weather. And I updated the feeding system to be out of PVC pipes that I can fill from the side, as you might have seen from other videos. I also put up Christmas lights to help them uh, keep laying eggs after they molt. I haven't turned them on yet because they're still molting. So we're going to see about that. I'll probably make a video about it. Uh, I also have a rent-a-coop watering system now, which I love. Uh, there's a little guy right there. How you doing? Uh, they're very happy. I also put a back wall on for winterizing, which, again, I will probably make a video about when I'm done. But, yeah, it's all held up pretty well. It's about six months old now. Uh, it's just about the beginning of winter right now, and they have some pumpkins to eat as a natural dewormer. And they're chillin'. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let's see it from this side. Planted some herbs. It's very nice.